Hi, Julie Barkas here, and I wanted to come to you live with a tip tonight on um, something that you need to be doing to be really kicking off the year uh, on an incredible start. But before I get to that, I just want to let some folks jump on with us, but uh, it's very cold here in Chicagoland. I'm getting ready to go out swing dancing tonight, and I hope you've got a great evening planned. And if you're tuning into this live broadcast, I would love for you to give me a like, give me a heart, say hello, let me know that you're here. And I want to give you this tip because there's something that you need to be doing now to really gear yourself up for a successful 2018. And I also want to tell you something too. Um, I have been promising you a worksheet on attracting and retaining your great staff, on attracting, attract your dreamy staff. It's an attract your dreamy staff worksheet. And I got it done and there are about eight pages to work through uh, to attracting your dreamy staff. Now, if you want this, let me know you want this. And what I'm going to be doing is posting um, a sign-up sheet where you can actually grab this. But also, next Tuesday at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time, I want you to save the date. I want you to mark your calendar because I'm actually going to be sharing um, this worksheet with you and walking you through it so that you can complete it and start putting the plan of action into place immediately. How does that sound? Sound good? <laughs> okay. So tonight, uh, I just wanted to share with you one tip. And, and right now, you know, a lot of people are thinking about December, and we're thinking about winding down, we're thinking about Christmas parties, we're thinking about taking it easy, closing up shop. And that will put us pretty much in the same bracket as everybody else come January, where we start thinking about money and enrollments and staff and all that. But there's one thing you could start doing right now consistently to help you kick off 2018. And this one thing is something that you should be doing all throughout the year. It's a huge thing that I teach, a huge advocate that I am of this one thing. Um, and that's the one thing that I want to share with you tonight. And if you're joining me, I'd love to know if you could hear me, okay? Because I know sometimes I've done these broadcasts and I sound like a chipmunk or we get cut off or the video is frozen. So if you're here, please feel free to say hello. And also, if you're watching the replay of this, say hello as well. And uh, we'll dive into this tip. But so many people are asking me, Julie, well, what do I do to gear up for an incredible 2018? So here's what my suggestion is. Instead of you know, really laxing your mindset back. We've got about two weeks prior to Christmas. It is a fantastic time just to be building relationships. And here's my one huge strategy, because I think this strategy converts to cash. And this strategy is having conversations. And you should strategically be committing to having a certain number of conversations a week so that you can be growing your business. And if you were to do this one thing consistently in just having conversations, you will start the process of attracting your dreamy staff and your dreamy clients. Now, what is it that you have conversations about? Well, have conversations about your vision, have conversations about whoever it is that you're talking to, their goals, what's on their hot list, who can you connect them to, how can you be of service? So one strategy I teach for attracting your dreamy staff is to get out into the community and have conversations because the people who you want to work for your childcare program are probably already somewhere in the community working. They're not the person on the couch eating a bag of chips, at least I hope not. So if you have conversations, you can determine if the people you talk to are one of three things. So I think every single person who you have the opportunity to meet is one of three things. And the only way you can find out which one of these three things I'm going to share with you is by having conversations. So people you meet in the community. Are you ready for these three things? If you're ready, say, yes, Julie, I'm ready. I can't wait. <laughs> So these three things, number one, people who you talk to and have conversations with in your community and even beyond can be potential new staff members, they can be potential clients, or they can be absolutely amazing referral sources. 
And the only way you know which one of these three things these people in your community are is by having conversations. So am I repeating that enough? It's conversations, conversations, conversations. With relationships that you build in your community, everything can become much easier. Without them, everything becomes much harder. And if you want to really broaden your conversation skills, you can connect with people on LinkedIn, connect with people on Facebook, offer to buy them a cup of coffee and just get together for a few moments. And then you learn about them and learn what their professional goals are and see how you can come from a place of giving first. Conversations is the key to really building a successful business, conversations and cash. And that is how you could tell somebody in a, a potential new client an amazing potential new uh, staff member or a fantastic referral source. And there are people who master the skill of conversation and they could fly, you know, across the country, someplace totally different. And they have a conversation, they meet somebody and the next thing you know, that person is working for them. And I even have the experience when uh, we were with our mentorship in Hawaii, where I took, uh, actually I went around and I was having conversations as I normally do with people who are working. And there's the Honolulu or Hawaiian cookie company, which is absolutely amazing. And there was somebody who was working behind the counter talking to me. And I started asking her, I said, well, how do you like your job? What do you like about it? And then of course, because I said those things, what did she do? She came back and she says, well, what do you do? And I told her, I work with child care owners to help them create child care owners and directors. I partner with them to help them create positive, productive, and profitable child care programs. And she's like, oh my goodness, you're in the child care industry. I love child care. I studied. I have a degree. And I'm like, we're in Hawaii, and I'm having this conversation. So you never know who you're going to meet where. The issue is that a lot of times when we have the opportunity to have these conversations, we're tired, we're, our hair is not brushed, whatever it is. We have all these kind of excuses where we just want to hide and not put ourselves out there. But right now, with everybody in the Christmas spirit, moms and dads and kiddos out there shopping, it is the perfect time to be out there having conversations and just saying, hey, you guys go to childcare. What do you like about it? At any moment, people are actively disengaged in their service. I know with employees, it's about 62%. And I know with customers, we're always looking for that next best thing, right? Whether it's a restaurant, whether it's a service, whatever it might be. So people's radar is always up in terms of, well, where can I go to get better service? Where can I go that might meet my needs? Where can I go that I would like better? So have conversations and commit, while you're watching this video, commit to a certain amount of conversations that you will have weekly and see if you have five conversations this week and next week, how they pay off for you in January or February. But if you've already in your mind closed down shop, so to speak, and said, oh, it's December, Christmas parties, holidays, nobody's doing anything. You're really looking at it the wrong way. And you're probably looking at it like everybody else is looking at it where it's up, oh, the season's done. December can actually be one of the most business building months. And like I said, everybody in your community is out in the community shopping, Christmas spirit, talking. Go out and just challenge yourself. Get over yourself and have conversations. And remember, if it's about your appearance or whatever it might be, remember that the energy that you project is the most important thing, even more so than how you actually look. There's times when I come on video and I'm like, oh my goodness, and I was talking about my staticky hair today, um, but where I just don't feel like doing videos because I'm like, oh my goodness, my hair is this way and that way, but I have to get over it. And all I do is focus on the energy that I bring to you and of being of service and being of service to you. And that's the same thing I want you to think about is that you have the opportunity to impact so many lives in so many ways and that the kiddos and parents and potential employees are really shortchanged on a dynamic opportunity to come and be a part of your vision, your mission and your goals if they don't know about you. So it's up to you to get out there and have conversations so that you can enlighten them so that they'll want to be a part of what you're doing. Does that make sense? Do you love this? Do you like this? Please give me likes, give me hearts, leave a comment for me. 
Hey, Natasha, nice to see you here. And if you're watching the replay of this, feel free to say hello. I will come back and check for um, messages and reply to you. But I'm going to get out of here and get swing dancing. But um, mark your calendars for next Tuesday, 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. I am going to go over our Attract Your Dreamy Staff worksheet. So is finding dreamy staff an issue for you? If it is, make sure you mark it on your calendar, and I will get you the sign-up information the next day or so. And next Tuesday, you're going to have this in your hands, as well as me personally walking you through it, training you on it so that you can be all set up this month, next week, to really attract your dreamy staff. And notice I'm using the word attract, not find. And I'm going to tell you more about that word as we progress into some of my video teachings. All right. It was great being here with you all. And I look forward to reading your comments. And if you want more of these, you know what to do. I'm Julie Barkas, and I'll be back with more information so that you can sign up for this. Please leave me comments. And um, I hope you have a great evening. I'm off to hit the dance floor. I'll see y'all soon. Bye, everyone. Wishing you tons of childcare business success. And if you haven't yet picked up our bestseller, make sure you get our bestselling childcare business success book. All right. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.